Meet me there at 6 o'clock. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Hi, Dorothy. If you're there, pick... Hey, Dorothy. If you're there, pick up. Hey, Dorothy. It's a pain in the ass. If you're there... to say hello and they ask you to pray for me through tomorrow which is my fourth day have a good day off see you sometime next week bye See if the phone works. So if it does, well, then I guess I got nothing to worry about. Okay, goodbye. Doris, it's Sue Aubrey. Call me if you get a chance. I'll be home all night. Bye. See you soon. Bye bye. Hello, Doris. Good morning. You up? Okay, I'll call you for four times. This is Kathy. And we're going to go in the bed. I'll talk to you from another time. Bye. It's Jolene. If you're there, pick up. If you're not, call me back. I just got home. Bye. Yeah. 
why you just want me to hang around with it. Yes, because I want to have your video like it. He doesn't like me, Andy. I want to see if I can make the video like it. He has to be full of air on what we have to do. This is like having our research library. You know, Kathy told me sometimes. If girls think somebody's pretty and they don't act like they want to party, they don't like to hang with them. Kathy told me that a lot of people down there like me, but they feel like I'm not the party type, so they don't get involved. Like, if I if I want to hang out, they, they say, yeah, come on, you know, hang out with us. But I don't do that. So no one knows me, so they don't know how to approach me. They, some people say, hi, how are you? And I just say hi and they say, car. I don't get out with socialize. That's probably why, otherwise I'm trying to call my friend, but it's funny. Because sometimes you feel like you don't fit into it. I'm like, I'm so funny. I'm like, yeah, like, <laughs> Dorothy, Dave Merton, how you doing? It's uh, Wednesday, it's about 9.30 in the morning. I just wanted to give you a call and let you know that Dorothy's $3,000 policy, duplicate policy, came down. I have that for you. And as soon as possible, I'd like to drop it out to you when it's convenient. What I'll probably do is give you a call back tonight sometime. Uh, so I'll call you back then. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Took the money and I had an abortion. And I planned to leave, but by then I got to know Andy, and he talked to me into staying. Andy, how much of the story were you aware of at that time? None. All I knew was I felt a connection with Julie, and I wasn't about to let her just leave. I said, I love you. She told me everything. Because she knew that we couldn't have a relationship unless she's honest. What do you mean you're not home? You're always home. Nobody's home, really? Tuesday, and I just called to maybe get some help with uh, something that has been bothering me. Um, oh well, it's too late. You're not going to be there. I'm going out. It was about Uncle Sonny, and I want to get him for his birthday. But anyway, I'll just have to go out and try to do my best on my own. Okay, give me a call. Bye-bye. Hello, it's Stanley. Hello. That's Courtney. Talk about me. This is Daddy Carrera, and I want to know if you're still alive and if I have anything to surprises to expect. If you're not home, Call me later. Bye bye. Jeannie told me to call yesterday, but you're in the shower, so I'm going today. If you want, call me back. 